Well, how do that, people in the viewerverse? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. Now, this isn't a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode. Basically, I'm going to be rerunning the weekend mission, but on my PC with mods turned on so you can see the difference in planets. Because hopefully you saw this planet on the weekend mission. But I have got a cup of tea. Freaking lovely jubbly. Thank you. So let's jump into game, shall we, people in the viewerverse? I guess we shall. Okay, so I'm just arriving inside of the old Nexus. Hopefully we're going to see the weekend mission inside of the Nexus on my PC save. There it is, I see you, you nice sort of turquoise icon. Right, let's jump on out of the ship and let's go and pick this up. So, the actual planet itself on the weekend mission had sort of like gnarly orange skies in normal flat playstation -y, you know, mode. Let's see what we've got this time. So, eliminate hazardous flora, don't mind if I do. So yes, it had purple skies and it had lots of spiky sort of flora and rocks and weirdness going on on the planet. It was quite a good planet this week. So let's see if modded No Man's Sky is as good as, if not better. Let's go and have a look, see. Oh wait, could be worse. <laughs> could be, could be. We never know what we're gonna get. Every episode, an adventure. I'm hoping to do these each weekend so you can see the difference between normal play and modded play. Right, um, so I'm never swig of the old tea. Freaking lovely. Well, I hope you guys and the viewer verse are having a fantastical weekend. Me and the Ivy are heading back over to Bista Village. She wants to take back the suitcases we got because she's seen nicer colours on the online um, yeah, version of Samsonite. So we're going to be ordering them online. Take them back, get our monies, order them online. Complete waste of petrol. But yes, at least it's a day out, I suppose. I swear she does it on purpose. <laughs> to go look at the shops and do some window shopping. She's a sneaky one. Nah, she hasn't really. You know, it's just one of those things. Yeah, so anyway, I'm arriving at the opposite side of here, hopefully, any time now. There we are. We've arrived, decated. Boom! Discovered by Stu. So, yeah, all the discoveries remain the same, which is pretty interesting, isn't it? Right, there's our... Oh, no, it's on the dark side of the planet by looks of things, people. Oh, well, I can put the sun in the sky. We can mess about with camera mode anyway, can't we? You know, it is what it is. It's random. That's what it is. Well, let's fly on down. We've got to find the grave marker of the individual. But the main reason that I'm doing this is to show thee the planet. Oh, it's a different planet, actually. Is it still going to be the dark side? It probably is the dark side, isn't it? We've only got four seconds. Can I have a swig of tea? Yes. Okay, right. Let's head on down. Let's see if we can spot the grave marker, shall we, people? Now, the grave markers are extremely small, so I very much doubt we're going to be able to spot it. I'm going to go where it was originally, around there. And let's see if it's... It was slightly north of where I am now. Oh, my days! Okay, right, fudge it. We're just going to land. Oh, my God! I forgot. It's modded play, isn't it? Okay, right. Well, you see those sort of spiky rocks? It did have these spiky rocks in normal mode, but not as big as that. Holy fudge. Okay, uh, yeah, so it did have these spiky rocks. It didn't have these shrooms. These shrooms are freaking new. It's like I've landed on the planet of the Smurfs. And it didn't have this gnarly whirly grass. And it was bright yellow in the sky. Well, this is this is nighttime right now, people. Oh, we've got comets and all sorts falling from the sky. This is proper overground. This is like an Alice in Wonderland type moment. Same fauna, same fauna. Okay, right, we're going this way then, to the grave marker. And when I get to the grave marker, I'll put the sun in the sky, people, and we'll have a look at what this looks like in the daytime, shall we? Okay, uh, we're heading this way. Target aligned. Well, yep, it's exactly... Oh, that looks so freaking alien, doesn't it, with all that in the background? Okay, well, um, yeah... I would say that the normal mode planet is just as good this week as this one, maybe. I don't know. You decide. Let us know in the comments what you think. But I do like this. This is cool. But yeah, the one in normal mode was quite good anyway this week. So, you know. Uh, come on, let me interact with the dang thing. There we are. Boom. Hello there, mate. Yeah, I know. You died. It's a shame. Okay, cool. Right. <laughs> let's put the sun in the sky. Let's see what this planet... Oh, I'm fudging wrong button. There we go. And let's put the sun in the sky. Oh, well, fudging heck. Sun in the sky. Okay, now just get rid of the bottom bar. Oh my days. Okay, that is pretty darn freaking mental, isn't it? That's a pretty trippy looking planet. And it, you know, it's covered in what looks like little shrooms. Well, I say little, they're freaking massive. But it does kind of fall in keeping with these sort of flying saucer shroom-like uh, creatures and stuff. You know what, actually, the more I look at this, the more I sort of like it. It's... 
It's kind of growing on me. Yeah, it's like a fungus. That's very nice. Oh, look, look at that. It's sunset. Look at that. That's pretty darn sweet, isn't it? So yeah, that's the weekend planet this week. Okay, um, where's my character? Really, I need to get some sort of thumbnail -y type image, don't I? So let's uh, get all the way down here. Not that close to me. And yeah, that kind of looks okay, but I've got that in front of me. No, okay, we'll have to sort of scout around then. Well, let's go kill some hazardous freaking flora then, people. Hazardous flora, where are you? Okay, well, that just turned me around in a giant freaking circle. Sod that. I'm just going to spot them with my beady eye peepers, maybe. Then again, it's going to be hard to spot them with eye peepers, isn't it? Okay, well, we're just going to go this way. Now, now, when I was doing this in normal mode, I found an abundance of hazardous flora. We were done within, like, about two minutes doing this mission. Oh, if you didn't see that, if you didn't see that, I put a link in the top right corner so you can actually see the weekend mission. So if you didn't run the mission this week, if you don't really like running them, you can go just watch it there and see what the planet looked like without all the mods on. Okay, target aligned. And um, I'm struggling to spot any hazardous flora right now, people. So I'm going to have to use a sweep scanner. It says it's this way, but I don't, I don't know. Too weak, okay. Trouble is, with all this giant flora and whatnot on the planet, it could be embedded inside of some of these giant rocks. I think I might just have to try and find a nicer place to do a freaking screenshot and um, maybe just go back to the Nexus if I can't find any hazardous flora because this is so freaking dense. I can't, I, look, I, I can't even get through the blinking stuff. It's mental. But this is this is proper alien, you know. I, I really wish that there was planets like this inside of No Man's Sky. I can understand why there probably isn't, you know. I mean, well, this is one of the reasons. I'm trying to spot hazardous fl fl flora right now, whereas before, finding hazardous flora on this planet was not a problem, okay? Right, well, let's just get past these. And I think this could be a decent spot for a, for a thumbnail image. Yes, I think that would work quite nicely. Let's see if I'm right. Let's just pull the camera back just a tad. Oh, yes. I think that's our thumbnail, people, in the view of us, isn't it? Yeah, let's just move over that way just a tad. Yeah, coolio. I think that works quite cool. Let's see if we can get a better bit of light on there. Yeah, the sunset. That, that's, that's got some ambiance. That's, that's, that's my thumbnail. Okay, yes, chicka boom. Done. Thumbnail grabbed. Okay, now let's see if we can find these hazardous floras. See, it just says too weak. I don't I don't think it's got any bloody I don't think it's got any hazardous flora on this planet. Honestly don't. I'm not seeing any. <laughs> so yeah, you know, play about with the algorithm that spawns in the freak Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. We've got a heartbeat. We've got something. We've got something. It's somewhere over here. 60 use this way. We could be in luck, people. Let's have a look. Ah, look, I think it might be embedded inside of this monstrosity. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get at that. It's somewhere in there. I don't know where I can zap this into oblivion. No, it's not going anywhere. And I can't get it. Look, there it is. Hazardous flora is reached. I can't get it, though, people. And I'm not seeing much hazardous flora on this planet. So you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to complete this weekend mission. Not easily, anyway. I mean, I, I could get lucky and find 11 hazardous floras out on the actual planet. But you can see here, they're very sort of rare. They're rare now, people. They're not as, as they once were inside of normal mode. Help, I'm in a freaking cave. I'm in, I'm in a hole in the ground. I can't get out. Okay, all right, fine. Let's try that again. And there we go. I'm out. Lovely. Don't panic. Panic averted, people in the view of us. I'm okay. Don't you worry. Yes. Don't you call for emergency services? I'm okay. Go. Cool. Well, um, yeah, I think we're going to give up. I think we're going to give up now. And I'm just going to call in my ship. <laughs> I'm going to go back and we're going to cancel out this mission. But as we're doing that, I'm just going to do a little fly over the planet and we'll have a little better look. But then again, saying that, what was the time? It's, um... Oh, budge off, sweet scanner. I want this one. Oh, look, it's sunrise is about to happen. Sunrise is about to happen. So, you know what? I could just carry on looking for some hazardous flora for a little while, couldn't I? Let's see if we can find one. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to ignore that. I'm just going to carry on going this way. Um, because I think that's pushing me back to the one that I already passed, you know? Go this way. Too weak. Yeah, there's not much hazardous flora on this blinking planet, people in the view of us. There really isn't. Run like the wind, Captain Steve. And take to the skies. 
What the fudge is this that I've just encountered? What's that? What the heck is that? Is that a crashed... Is that a crashed freighter? I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Ah, it's just rendering in now. Pretty awesome. Right oh. And he, and he has this flora. And he has this flora for me. Oh, here we go. Sun sunrise is happening, people. Sun arise in the morning. A sun arise. Look at that. That's brought this planet into freaking life, hasn't it? Oh, look at the grass. All sort of greeny, bluey color. It's nice. I'm liking this. Something I haven't seen is a knowledge stone either. <laughs> yeah, I wonder whether a lot of this flora has replaced like the hazardous flora and maybe the knowledge stones and other things that you actually need to progress in the game or something. Because look how dense the foliage is. And it's not normal. Heck no, well, it's modded, isn't it? So nothing's going to be normal, Captain Steve. Heck no, it's not. And now, yeah, I'm not really spotting anything, am I? I'm not spotting any hazardous flora, people. And, uh, yeah, no, normally you'll be tripping over the bloody stuff. Okay, target aligned. It's this way, somewhere over this way. No, no, there's a bubble monster with eyeballs in. I saw that in normal mode, though, so that's, that's nothing new. Cool. Come on, hazardous flora. Oh, there, we've got ourselves a, we've got ourselves a fauna there. Hello, little mate. Going this way. Now it's saying too weak, but it is aligned. There is one over there somewhere, but you know what? I think we've seen enough of this planet now, and it's rolling into the day. We've got the lovely green skies of yesteryear. It really does have a retro vibe, these mods that I've got applied. If you're interested what mods I've got applied, I'll put them in the video description. But I think we're going to head on back on up to the actual Nexus, and I think I'm going to be cancelling this off. But you can see here that I'm actually enjoying just roaming this planet. You know, it, it does make it feel more alive more believable and more alien and a, a little bit more unique i mean i don't think you know i've ever seen anything quite like this it's very cool isn't it very cool indeedy doody right oh well let's head on back on up to the old nexus in the sky people so yeah i mean you don't need to see me cancelling off the mission so i can sort of end this off here really can't i peeps but yeah i just want to say have an awesome weekend whatever you guys are doing out there inside of the view of us um but yeah i'm I haven't got much plan myself, really, apart from, you know, going back to Bista with the old Ivy, um, drinking more tea, because that's what I do. And uh, I think I've got a cup of tea with Captain Steve video about, um, oh, what was it, Nightingale that you've probably already seen. Yeah, because this is right, right now, it's Saturday. <coughs> Shouldn't have talked with a mouthful of tea. Mmm. <coughs> That's better. Nearly died. Okay, right, people. Take care. Yeah, today's Saturday, and I'll probably put this video live on the Sunday. Anyway, bye-bye. Bye-bye.